Um, my name is Ashley High. I met Jenny through a really crazy coincidence. There was a, there was a retreat going on up here, and I heard about it through my church, and so I thought all the women from my church were coming. Well, when I got here, I was the only one. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. So, that was two years ago. That was two years ago. Mm -hmm. So I met Jenny and all her team here, and they just totally opened their arms to me, and they didn't even know me, and I just really felt that love, and so then she started to come to our church, and I began to build a relationship with her, mm -hmm. and so then my husband and I took the study this year, and it was our first time in the study, but we learned a lot, and um, the thing that really touched my heart a lot was the expectations chapter, because I kind of grew up under a performance-based home where um, I, I had to perform, and if if everything wasn't good enough, if I wasn't good enough, then I wasn't loved. Like, love was held back because it was based on performance. So I had high expectations of myself and of other people. And so now I'm learning through the study that if you don't accept yourself and if you let everybody else put expectations on you, you can't accept yourself through God's eyes because you need to worry about what everybody else thinks that you should how you should look and what you should act like and so that was really the part of her study that touched me more. And I love it too that Dave came along with you. And uh, I remember I had him write a letter to God and he had never done anything like that. It's like write a letter to God. You know, and that really affected him. So we didn't just have him here today to give his testimony, but uh, we're going to get them in yet. Because <laughs> there have been men in this study, and we want to have a time to get those men together and get their testimony. I well, just thank God that you're so authentic because, like, I wear my heart on my sleeve, and I've, I've never been able to relate to the people who say, oh, I wear masks or whatever, because if I'm, if I'm upset and I'm in church, everybody knows it. It's hard for me mm -hmm. to pretend I'm not feeling something I'm feeling in the journey. It was like, she would tell me, first be totally honest with God and just tell him how you right. feel and, and freak out and be angry and whatever. <laughs> you know, and that, that touched me like that's awesome that I can just have the freedom with God to do that. But then after you get all those emotions out, then you have to surrender it. And like David in the Psalms, when he said, right. you know, he started out like, oh God, all my enemies are against me and I'm this and I'm that and where are you? But then at the end of the Psalm, it was always about, oh, but you are faithful and you, you are here for me and thank you for That's your right. Hand, so. yeah. That's right. And and really, until we get real with God, those things don't change in us. If we won't run around with a mask on, you know, I remember we had um, a renewal one time and um, I asked him one question, what they liked about themselves. And I'll never forget that. You know, this was a brunch and turned into a lunch and an afternoon and everything else that was involved in it. And in the, and in the very beginning, it was amazing because the women were really like, well, I like this about myself and I like this about myself. And then all of a sudden we had a girl that pushed her chair back and she said, well, I'm just going to be honest. And I am going to tell you, and maybe you girls aren't going to like me after this, but I'm going to get honest. Right after she got on us, it was like dominoes. How about it, girl? It was like dominoes the whole way around the table. And God moved in such a miraculous way that those girls were touched so much that, you know, this is the problem. I think a lot of times we are uh, just hiding. You know, God wants us, he wants to be our hiding place. And when we hide, you know, I was hiding under that skirt. When I was hiding, I was saying I was afraid, wasn't I? I was afraid. I was afraid to come out. But when you are with God in his hiding place, you can say, God, I'm afraid. And he's like coaxing you. Come on, you can do it. Because why? Uh, you can do all things through praise to strengthen you. you. And that's right. And it's a lot in the church. It just feels like you go in and you're broken and you just want to talk to somebody and they don't listen. They just want to fix you. They just want to say, oh, well, just do this or just do this. Mm -hmm. and like you don't want them to fix it. You just want them to listen. Mm -hmm. So I just thank you for your compassion and that part that God's placed in you.